Yeah, hi everyone, Dean here, Repco Equipment New Zealand. Uh, just uh, doing a very quick video on the differences between the new G-Scan 2 and the existing G-Scan. Uh, straight away, easy to tell, the physical size difference. Obviously there's a lot more packed into the G-Scan 2, so it's larger. Uh, the other thing you can see straight away is the G-Scan 2 has a much clearer and easier to read screen from this angle, and that's because of its new high definition screen which is designed for outdoor use. So uh, G-Scan 2 screen obviously nice and clear, 7 inch screen quite a bit bigger, whereas G-Scan 1 still nice clear, a little bit smaller, 5.5 inches and uh, not specifically designed for outdoor use so it does get a bit of glare reflection, reflection which can be a problem. So today we've got a 2011 Holden Colorado, um, if we start her up quickly you'll see that the engine check light is on, I've just pulled the uh, airflow meter off. So what we're going to do is we're going to plug both tools in to clear that code and uh, we'll just uh, quickly do that. So first of all we'll grab the G-Scan 2. Uh, as soon as I find the uh, plug underneath the dash of course. Sorry about this. Okay, so this is the G-Scan 2 plugged in. Now all we need to do obviously is go into diagnostics which is relatively simple. You'll see here that it actually asks us what regions, Oceania, Europe, Asia, United States or other. We'll just leave it on all regions because that makes it nice and simple. So we're going to go down to Holden. And if we can find Holden, no we can't. So I'm just going to go to Oceania. Go to Holden. Push the right button. You'll see there that the latest versions like your Malibus, your VF Commodore, your Holden Volts. And mine's got the Ford JJ1 with the Delphi uh, ECU system on it. There's my fault code. Now I'm just going to erase the code. Are you sure? Yes I am. Successfully erased. Cool. Alright. Now I'm just going to escape out. Put it into standby mode. Now I'm just going to quickly make sure that the airflow meter is still disconnected. Cool. Give it round. Plug the G-Scan 2. Trouble light back on the dash again. Plug in my original G-Scan 1. And so, diagnostics. Obviously I'm a little bit quicker using the G-Scan 1 because I'm far more familiar with it. Same fault code. Okay, dokey. Now what you might have noticed I did with the G-Scan 2 is I actually put it into standby. So if we turn it on, straight away, instant on, nice and fast. Now what I am going to just quickly show you is some of the utilities that's in the G-Scan. So we've got communication line inspection, which is a CAN bus testing device so high speed, middle, low, single can J1850 if we go into that it'll actually tell us turn the ignition on obviously plug the G-Scan 2 in and you'll see the communication 
can. What do we got there? The high side, up and down, up and down, communicating. What else do we have? Calculator. Really basic, it's a calculator. Unit converter. So we can convert length, weight, volume, pressure, velocity, temperature. So if we type in 10 millimeters, one inch, etc., etc., etc. So um, that's about all I'm going to do really, really quickly with the G Scan 2. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Cheers.